Hello and welcome to online tech reporting projects. This is your first video. You'll have several of these as we move along, not one every week, but one uh, frequently. Uh, so make sure that you're looking along the class syllabus and the class calendar. Um, this is a fairly short one. It's just going to introduce you to uh, the class, take a look at things, and um, talk about a heuristic device that we're going to be using the entire time called MAPS, M-A-P-S. So uh, MAPS, let's talk about uh, let's talk about acronyms. I'm not a huge fan of acronyms, but engineering programs tend to use a lot of them. Um, I had a colleague last uh, summer who used a class over at Raytheon, and they handed her entire book of their their acronyms. So get used to them. Use them for uh, how it works best for you. This one I want you to remember. It's quick and short and will help you as you approach your writing projects throughout the semester. So we're going to use it um, multiple times. So I want you to be familiar with it. Um, so MAPS, it's a little tool to help you approach different types of writing, uh, different types of writing situations. It's, it's fairly simplified and that's the point of a um, rhetoric. Uh, rhetoric is a word that most people don't like. Um, if you've had it throughout English, your English classes, you probably hate the word rhetoric because Primarily, people don't understand what it means. Um, rhetoric is really just a way of describing the way in which a writer informs, persuades, or motivates a particular audience um, and thinks about that particular audience and, and how they're going to approach communicating something. Um, so let's use maps as the way we approach that throughout. So first, M, which stands for mode. That's basically the type of writing that you're going to be working with in a particular situation. Um, some examples, a business letter, an academic essay, a formal memo, um, and a little reminder on the memo thing. Take a look at uh, our Getting Started documents. You'll find some information about what format we're expected here. Um, for the most part, you're going to be doing single spacing, um, paragraphs, graphics which pertain to a project, that type of thing. Um, and another example of a mode might be a resume. You, you know a resume when you see one because you pick it up and it has bullet points and headings and so on. So the mode, that's very important because it is targeted at an intended audience. Um, the better you're able to write specifically for that particular item, the better you're able to communicate with that particular niche audience. All right. Um, Something to keep in mind in this class and, and as you move into the world of, of business, you are for the most part writing for an American audience. American audiences are fairly lazy. Um, that's not necessarily true of all international audiences, which we'll talk about more uh, as we will address it further later on. Um, but for this part, lazy meaning they're, they're very, very busy. They want things to be very simplified and easy to find. Um, the burden of communication falls on you as the writer to to show them easily using headings, using quick bullet lists. So keep this in mind as a mode. All right, second section of maps is A. A stands for who your audience is. In your work and career, you'll have a couple a couple of different kinds of audiences. Obviously, you'll have professors, you'll have business associates, um, you'll have uh, students that you're working with, you'll have business career people that you're working with. There's one thing that all of these audiences have in mind in common, um, especially if they're um, American audiences. They're very, very busy, and that means they're also potentially very grouchy. So you're approaching an audience that may or may not be hostile to your idea um, or what you're trying to put together. Um, so what they want, what do they want? All of them, including you. As you're, as you're watching this video, you're also having the same idea. You want something crisp, well edited, you want something efficient. We call it prose or writing. You want these things to be done quickly and get out of your way, right? Um, so you need to say what you mean, you need to mean what you say, cut out the fluff, get to the point. So that's what we're looking for in this particular class is good organization. What they need, when they need, right now. Okay. Um, so one of the things you have to keep in mind that may or may not be fair, switch this real quick here. Um, also, I'm going to pop up a little different thing so you can see this. All right, so here's here's what MAPS looks like real quick. You'll find this in our important documents if you kind of want to review it through the class. Um, 
So one of the things about a poorly written document, so as a, as a tech writing uh, audience yourselves, you probably aren't that thrilled about writing. Most, most audiences that I come in contact aren't excited about writing. It is, however, something that's important to your career. A poorly written document, a poorly organized document um, on appearance, if I pick something up and I look at it on first appearances, you often only get a few seconds. Um, if it doesn't look organized, if it doesn't look clean, then everyone assumes that it's poorly written as well, just by appearance. So that's not necessarily fair, but that's the way it is. Um, so the, the, the faster that you can kind of put yourselves into that mode of how can I write something to communicate to my audience, um, it's really an issue of your own credibility. So what you're working with on this in this class is something that will affect your job, your potential ending up as, uh, as far as as high as you can as you move up. Um, so I've done some some coaching of executives in this particular area and it's very important it will keep you from moving up the ladder. All right so your third section of maps is your P. P stands for purpose. So we've got mode, we've got audience, we've got purpose. Uh, what is the purpose? Almost always in this class you'll be doing some sort of persuading or informing to persuade of your audience. Um, this is why you're writing. The actual purpose of whatever you're writing should be obvious to your reader. Um, for the most part in your as your engineering students or I know we've got some English majors and some other majors but most of your engineering and or IT or something like that um, your purpose is to persuade your advisor that you've got a great idea for a project. Now um, a senior design project by nature has to be challenging, but it also has to be doable. So you have to look at how can I put together a project that I'm able to um, have the capabilities to put together, but also complete within one semester. So obviously we have two sets of you. We have uh, the set who's in your first semester of, of this engineering course and you're still kind of developing your project. And then we have a lot of you who are in your second semester. And those of you uh, have already been approved for a particular project, you've already worked with someone, and you have a completely different mindset. We'll talk to both of you in, in future audiences. Um, but for the one, for the most part, you need to convey in your, your proposal here that you are credible, that you are capable of producing the type of thing that you're, you're proposing to complete during the semester. Okay, so that's your purpose. Um, and the last letter in, in MAPS here is situation. So M-A-P-S is situation. What is the situation? Um, what's this audience? Uh, what is their particular situation? That's, that's something that, that students tend to forget. They think about what's my situation as a student. What you're really trying to, to convey here is, uh, or think about, is what is their situation? How are you going to uh, affect their mindset? Um, are you seeking approval? Are you trying to get an interview? Are you trying to get a project? All of these types of writings have a, have a situation which you keep need to keep in mind. Um, and of course, how much time you have to do it, what components you need to get it done. All right, so so this is this is something we'll be used throughout the semester: M A P S, mode, audience, purpose, situation. As we come upon different types of writing that we do, I will have you kind of think through the maps for each one. Uh, the first lecture that you'll get next uh, will be the, the lecture that talks about how we apply maps to the proposal. That's your first major thing that you're working with. Uh, there'll be three lectures that will deal with, with the proposal. Uh, please listen to all three of them and don't listen to them while you're doing something else. Multitasking doesn't work. You won't remember as much and I will notice it when you put together something that is incomplete or wrong. So please take a look at that. Um, a, the next thing you'll need to start thinking about is signing up for the first meeting. We, you have two meetings throughout this semester with me. Um, for the most part, we want to make those live. We want to sit down with you for, for the first one's 10 minutes. I want to sit down with you. I want to kind of talk through your ideas. I want to meet you. I want you to meet me and say, hey, I'm a live person. Um, Mondays are my biggest day on campus. You'll find a get to get to know me connection where you can sign up for a particular meeting on Monday. Um, I have it fairly narrow right now as far as the openings. I think I started at one o'clock 
and, and go until 2.30 or something like that. I can open that up. I just don't want to get stuck with a meeting with one person at 8 o'clock in the morning and not something until 2.45 in the afternoon. So if you need something, if you need another appointment time, you can email me my school email. Um, if Mondays are particularly impossible for you, and I know some of you have jobs, whatever, that will make this impossible, I will set up appointment times uh, via phone. I would prefer not to do that. It's it's less effective for you and for me, but I can do that. Again, you'll want to check with me through my email, and we'll we'll make this work. Uh, our our object here is to make you successful, um, and not to impede what you're doing. So do take a look at that. We can chat about alternatives. Um, one little note there: I teach multiple classes and multiple sections. So if you're going to email me, make sure you tell me which class which section we're talking about so we can make things work a little better. So, um, cheers to you. I'll be seeing you in this venue again fairly soon.